Okay, so um, first what we're gonna do is that we're going to import um, Spacey. Right, if you don't have Spacey, you have to just install it. Okay, pip install Spacey and you're done. All right, you just have to um, install it. You just have to do pip install. You just have to do that and then you install it. Okay, so if you don't have it, you just have to run that code. Okay, so once um, you have it, you just import Spacey. And then um, here we're going to do spacey.load, right? And then you're going to load this this English pipeline over here. It's English Core Web um, Small, right? SM stands for small. It's actually a small English pipeline, which is trained on written web tests, okay? Like blogs and news and comments, right? You can call it a wait if you want. You can call it a wait, all right? So you load that. That's what we're going to use here. All right, so let's run that, all right? And then the next one is uh, we're going to define how we want to see the test. Okay, if you read the test or the document, how we want to see it. All right, so here what I'm doing is that um, I'm defining a function here and I'm going to show it, show entities, right? That's, I'm just shortening it to show underscore ends. Okay, yes, I mean, it's basically to show or display the entities, right? The entity information. So that is going to contain, I'm going to pass in my document or, or my test, all right? And then once I pass in, I'm doing doc.ent, that is doc.entity. Then for each of the entities in the document, I'm going to print the, the entity, okay? Then I put a dash in between them. And then the start of the entity, right? The start of the entity, the end of the entity, and also the label. The label is nothing but maybe the entity is an organization or the entity is a person or something like that. Okay, something like that, and it's going to have an explanation over there. Okay, let me run it, and then um, you see the output, and then you get to understand. So here, I've just given a test over here. You can just give any test that you want. Okay, so the test is Apple is looking at buying a UK startup for one billion dollars. So that's that's just I mean a hypothetical test that I've put over here, right? And then I'm going to use NLP to read. Okay, and don't forget NLP is nothing but the space dot load this we stored everything in nlp you can just give it any name that you want okay so this is my first document that i'm going to read so let's um read it so, all right so once i do that and i use the show end on it all right that's the show end function okay it's going to show me the entity so here apple is an entity okay apple is an entity and it's going to show me it's going to once it um give me the test which is that Okay, then you put a dash over there. Okay, it's put a dash over there. You can, uh, maybe if you want, you can put maybe, as, I mean, colon, if, if that's what you want. Okay, so if I run this and run it again, see that now it's a colon. Okay, it's a colon. So, I mean, you can just give it any, um, I mean, the way that you want to describe it. I just like putting dash over there. All right, so once I do that, now, once it picks the entity apple, it's going to, put the start of the, the next one is the start of the character. That is where it starts. So Apple start at the index zero. Okay, remember that's how, I mean, Python indices. So zero and then one and two and so on and so forth. Okay, and then end at five. Okay, end at five means that it, that's the end of character. Okay, the next one is end of character. So dash then end of character will come. You can just read it as one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's basically what it's going to do, right? So we start at index zero and end at, um, I mean, the characters are five over there, right? And then, um, I mean, end at character five. And then the particular entity, right? That's the, what do we want? The entity label, which is organization. And then the explanation of that, okay? So it's a company or agency or institution, etc. Okay, that's, that's basically what I've defined over here. So it's gonna do it for all of them, okay? UK is GP, right? GP is nothing but a geopolitical entity. Okay, so it can, it's a country, city, state, right? That's the category it falls into. And then one billion, one billion um, start at 44. You can count and then you see, right? You can just count them and you, you see. It start at index 44. And then, um, I mean, it has, it end at character 54. All right, you can just count it. Let's, let's count it and see. So um, let me bring my pen and then we can count it. So we have, um, we have one, two, three, four, five, and then the space, six, seven, eight, nine, right? The space, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, the space, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 
32 for the speech, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Okay, all right. So basically that is it. And it's money and monetary value. I mean, that's the category that it falls into. All right, that's the category. So that's basically what um, I'm giving over there, right? And I'll just put them on a table form for you for better understanding, okay? So the test that they gave me, the start at the end, the label, and then the description, okay? So basically that's what that's what I gave over here, okay? So you can just, um, I mean, change whatever that I've given over here to suit your own requirement, right? The next one, I'm just doing another one here, which is um, may I go to Washington, D.C., next to me to see the washington monument so it's just a sentence that i've given over here right so if i run this one it's just gonna give me a similar thing so washington is a geopolitical entity and it falls into this category um next day is the date okay and uh the washington monument that is a company or agency or institution that's where it falls into so if you see the first one right here i just passed in the document directly right but you can also use for loop to loop through the i mean the document right and then get the output okay so i'm um, here i'm getting the test itself which is this one right the test itself right and then um we just um something like this okay and then the start right the start of the test and the, or the start of the entity the end of the entity the i mean the start of the character okay so the entity itself is the entire thing and then the start of the character will be something like that okay and then um the end of the character okay so that's what you can just get rid of that one and then maybe print the entity and their labels okay so if i do that you see that this is the entity 500 dollars, right so if you go into this one you see that we have 500 dollars over here okay and then we have microsoft so that's the entities so microsoft is an organization and then 500 is um is money okay so that's that's how you can also loop through instead of just passing it straight away you can also use the loop to loop through like that right all right you can also um use list comprehension right so i showed you um how you can loop through and then get the i mean the entities they are start and the end and the labels you can also use a list comprehension like this okay you can also use a list comprehension like this so um i just put in e dot test and then e dot start and then uh, start character and then start end character and then the label okay for each of the entities so e here represent entity all right so for each of the entities in the doc dot ends okay that is for each of the entities in the doc dot ends so it's just the same thing for e in um, doc dot ends then you you print out all these okay it's the same thing as just putting them this way Right, they all give you the same uh, result. So let me um, comment this one out and then I'll print it the, the two above and then you're gonna see that both of them are gonna give me the same results. Okay, so the same results, San Francisco, and then you have um, the start, the end, and then the entity label there. Okay, then this one in the, I mean, when you use the list comprehension form, it's gonna come this way, right? But the output is just the same thing, okay. So let me um, show you this one here. Okay, so here, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to get the individual tokens and then see if I'll be able to get their, their I mean, entities as well. Okay, the individual tokens and their entities. So um, let me run that one. Okay, so you can see that um, over here, um, you have um, sun, right? Sun on its own, right? And then it's indicating B. I'll show you what B means. And then Francisco is indicating as I, right? And then the label okay so that's that's basically what we have so we have um the iob scheme and that's what we're using so if you see over here you can see that i'm doing doc um doc at index zero dot test and then doc at index zero dot um end and then underscore iob so that's what i'm using that's entity i mean iob scheme right i'm using the iob scheme and then i have doc um zero dot uh end underscore type okay so that's basically what I'm using here. So I mean, um, doc zero means that I'm picking only the first entity over there. Okay, the first entity over there, right in the in the doc. So, right, the first entity in the doc. So that's basically. And then when you pick the first entity in the doc, then you find the test, right, and then the IOB of it, and also the entity type. Okay, so that's why it's giving me that the test is of the IOB and then the um, the entity type. 
All right, so that's basically um, one thing that you can also do, getting the individual tokens and their um, entity. All right, so um, these are all the tags that you have in the name entity recognition, right? We have person, so it can be tagged as person, right? Which um, if the name, if maybe for instance, name of a person or something like that. Okay, example is here, right? So Fred Flintstone is a name of a person. So in this case, it's gonna be tagged as a person, okay? Then we have NOP, N-O-R-P, which is um, nationalities or religious or political groups, right? We have FAC, right? Buildings, airport and all that. So all these are the tags that you can have when it comes to um, name entity recognition tags. Okay. Now we're going to um, see how we can also do user defined entity and then adding it to a span, right? Because here, whatever that we are using is inbuilt, okay? So what if, um, for instance, a company like Tesla, uh, when Spacey was being trained, Tesla has not been evolved, okay? Uh, Elon Musk has not formed Tesla yet. So if you feed a test that contains Tesla, it will not be able to identify that Tesla is a company because the time that Spacey was being trained, Tesla was not there. So in that case, if you want to um, include it by yourself, you can also do that, okay? That's what we're gonna see, right? So I have a test over here, which is saying that Tesla to build a UK factory for $6 million, right? So now um, that is what I have. And then I'm using the NLP to load it, right? And store it in dock. Remember NLP is nothing but this um, space dot load. This one, we stored everything in NLP. So that's what you use in loading your test, All right? So we use that one, then we load it. So now if I show you this one, all right? Now here you can see that it's identifying UK as a, as a GP, right? That is your political entity, which falls in the category of countries and uh, cities and state. That's correct. And then $6 million, it falls into uh, money, right? And then the monetary values also is there, right? But it's not able to identify Tesla as an organization or a company, right? So, uh, so what we have to do is that we have to do this then we have to include it manually right we have to include it manually so in order to do that we need to import what is called span okay from spacey we need to import span so spacey.tokens import span so that we include um tesla as one of the tokens in, inside our um in our span the already existing span so uh what are we doing going to do is that we're going to do doc.vocabs.strings okay and then we're going to um, label it as an organization right label it as an organization so now um when we pick when we use our span we're going to put in our document okay remember our document contains this right tesla to build a uk factory for six million dollars so we put in that and then we put a zero over here indicating where I mean, we're going to find that token. So it's at index zero. Okay, remember this is zero, right? It's nothing but um, here is um, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or right? something like that. So at index zero, we are putting it there, right? And it's just one, um, I mean, one word, okay? If it is something like say San Francisco, then it's gonna be something like a two um, thing over there, right? That is if you want to, find individual tokens of San on its own and then Francisco on its own. But if you want San Francisco to be one, then it's going to be um, like we are given here zero and then one. Okay. So we pass in our document and then we indicate that it's at index zero and then it's just one word. And then the label is going to be organization. Okay. So that's basically what you do. Now, once you do that, then you can um, add that. Remember, we have stored everything in new underscore end so we're adding the new underscore end to the doc end which is the i mean the inbuilt the already inbuilt one we are adding the new one into it okay and then we are ha storing everything in doc dot ends okay so now let's run it again all right so now if we do show underscore end and then we pass in the doc okay we pass in the doc again now see that now it's identifying tesla as a company or as an organization and it falls into this category all right, so you can also do that one uh, manually. All right, okay, so here I'm doing another example for you, right? Now here we have FB, right, which stands for Facebook, right? Now, ideally, Facebook, if you spell it correctly, right, it's supposed to give us, right, unless Facebook was not there when Spacey was being built, okay? So if we run this one, okay, we have empty, meaning that Facebook was not there when Spacey was being trained, right? 
if we search for something like say apple right so let's run it and see we see that apple apple is there which means that space was trained with i mean some test that apple is part of it okay so i mean that's that's basically what happens so if i use fb of course it's not going to be able to identify it okay it's not going to identify fb as i mean as an organization right so in that case you have to do that one manually right you have to do that one manually see let me uncomment um them out okay so as i've put it here right the mo model was not able to recognize fb as an entity so what we are going to do is that we're going to put it manually like we did earlier on okay we're going to label it as an organization and then we add it okay now we're going to print it right we're going to print it again so before and then after right before and then after so it's going to print this one and i, I mean obviously it's not going to find it but when it gets to this place after we have added it it will, it will be able to find it so let's run and see now you see that it's here is finding it as an organization but at first it wasn't able to find it okay so basically that's how you do it okay that's how you do it